Cisco Firepower, SSL decrypt using a signed CA. So using an internal Microsoft CA to perform, I guess, person in the middle. So let's go ahead and um, go to objects. We're gonna go to PKI and we'll go to internal CAs. We'll go ahead and generate a CA. And again, remember this is to do TLS decryption. So we'll give this a name. We'll go ahead and put in our country name, our province, our locality or city. And then we'll go ahead and maybe fill in organization if you wanted to, um, et cetera. And then we'll go ahead and generate that CSR. All right, we'll copy this out. And we'll jump to Microsoft. We'll go ahead and request an advanced certificate. And nothing magical here. We're just using a, a subordinate CA so it can issue certificates. We'll download the certificate. Go ahead and maybe we'll just rename this. And we'll go ahead and come back to our CSR request and we're gonna go install the certificate itself. So go ahead and browse to that. Grab the certificate, give it a moment, and then we'll go ahead and hit save. And that's it. The other thing that we have here too is um, we've also added the root CA of our enterprise um, root CA. Microsoft, right? And so I've already done that, but I'll, I'll quickly show you that as well. We'll just go to trusted CAs. And uh, maybe the easiest way here is just to do a quick search. We'll go ahead and do that. And what we'll see here is there's the Cisco AD root CA. So that's the Microsoft CA and we can go ahead and look at the, the, the actual certificate details. Now, in order to do that, all you have to do is hit add trusted CA, give it a name and copy it in. And you just go back to you, you know your search serve and download the CA certificate from there and import it. So no magic there. And that's why I skipped kind of going through that detail. All right, let's go to policies and then SSL decrypt. We really should start calling this TLS decrypt. Go ahead and give your policy a name. And remember, when you're building out policy here, I like to think of these as advanced objects, right? They have, they have, they're, they're doing nothing at this time until you apply it to an access policy. We'll go ahead and save that. And we'll edit that policy itself. Let's go to trusted CA certificates and we'll go ahead <clears throat> and we have our Cisco trusted authorities, but we're also gonna grab our um, root CA that we added previously. And now we'll go ahead and build out our rules. So again, nothing's happening here, right? We'll give this a name. This will be, what we'll do here is we'll, we'll exclude things like um, finance and health. That's typical in, a, in an organization not to decrypt that um, those, those categories. Usually an HR policy if you are able to even get um, decryption in. And again, if you're not decrypting, you're not inspecting because majority of the traffic on the internet today is, is encrypted. So that means no IPS, that means no malware inspection. So decryption is needed. We'll go ahead and search finance. We'll go ahead and then add that also to the rule. We'll enable some logging here. And we'll add that policy. We'll go ahead and add another rule here. This will be the decrypt rule.
and now we'll select the action as decrypt and resign and, and this is where we're going to select that certificate that we've added you go ahead and even select zones here if you wanted to to be specific there's all kinds of other attributes including certificate details cert status cipher suite etc that you could certainly um, look at turning on as well we'll log at end of connection we'll send that to the event viewer and we'll add that policy all right I'm gonna add one more here this is something I've noticed when I was um, internal in my lab environment my endpoint Cisco endpoint amp um, was not able to connect outbound all of a sudden now I do because I have a satellite uplink I do have some other issues um, when when you know testing and connecting to the internet um, but what I found was is I if I come in here and exclude the fire amp because it's the legacy name here um, application from being decrypted it was able to connect so you know, maybe something to look at as well but I'm gonna go ahead and add that here as well we'll go ahead and save that policy and again nothing happens until we jump into um, access control and apply this policy to it and then ultimately deploy that to the devices so let's go ahead and jump to access control We'll go ahead and hit edit. And all we do is select the SSL policy, drop that down, select it, select OK, hit save. And from here, we'll go ahead and hit deploy. Wait for that policy, obviously, to push. Remember the deploy also gives you any indication of any traffic interruption during a deploy with that inspect interruption flag that uh, is included in um, a lot of the newer versions of Firepower. We'll go ahead and drop down analysis, we'll go to events, and we'll just have that ready um, for viewing later. So in the meantime, Let's go ahead and jump to an endpoint and let's do some testing and see if uh, person in the middle is actually working. All right, so we've got this asset. Here's the decrypt no error because we have the Active Directory root CA is trusted. And you can see it's verified by engineering. That kind of looks like something we've done. Let's go ahead and view that certificate. And we can see there's Edmonton engineering. Um, it's a, a you know, a wildcard cert that was, was issued and it was issued by our subordinate CA or firepower. Now let's go check a finance site. We'll go ahead and drop that down, jump in here. And what we can see is certificate issued by and verified by and trust. So again, um, everything looks correct, right? We, we, we were, doing person in the middle for the Google because policy suggests that finance were not now EI car real quick this is a good test too you can pull down a file you can see verified by engineering we'll view the certificate and we get very much the same result right we see its common name we see that it was issued the issuer name was CA AB Edmonton and in engineering so perfect we, we, we perform the right actions in the right places we can come in and jump in the the event viewer here and we can also see you know decrypt resign um, what policies we can also see um, where is it here let's see finance there it is do not decrypt and finance that's the URL category so that's exactly what we saw in our testing and obviously the logs represent that. Now you might also want to add additional tables here. And a lot of people don't realize if you click that X, now you have to, when you do that, you've actually removed it. So you might want to add it back, but then there's a whole bunch of additional fields here that you can add. So let's go ahead and scroll, keep going. Um, let's get, um, SSL policy and I think SSL action as well. So what was the actual action that took place? We'll go ahead and apply that. This will refresh. 
And if we scroll over, we can see now we've got the actual action and our policy name as well. So again, you can add additional fields, but check that out. 10 minutes, we've got a subordinate CA in play doing person in the middle. Thank you.